Hello and welcome again to uh, Tesla firmware test, this time of the new 8.1.17.11.3 release. So the full speed autopilot um, for highways are at least pretty close to it. It's only 10 miles per hour lagging behind the hardware one. Um, this is the same local roads test I'm doing again. I'm actually doing this one for the first time right now as I'm filming it. So I'm curious to see the result. And it is drifting a little bit. All right, let's get back over. So we're coming up on the same bend um, that I've tested on before. I just want to use the same piece of road over and over again and see how the performance is. Um, the difference between the 17.9.3 and the previous firmware version was pretty significant, um, but it still wasn't perfect. It was drifting out into the bike lane a little bit on the left turn coming up here, and then it was drifting into the center uh, lane when it was uh, swinging back around to the right turn. It's an S-curve coming up. So let's see how it does. Uh, I've got it at 30 miles an hour, which is five miles over the speed limit, and turning, 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 and that's doing really well. Let's see if it's not drifting yet, not drifting yet, and it's into the bike lane. All right, so roughly, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying, and yeah, I'm gonna take over because there's a car coming. All right. So it looks like, at least for that turn, um, the local roads performance may still be roughly the same. Um, these things, of course, are a little bit hard to gauge because uh, just varying conditions, just because those two turns appear to perform exactly the same as the 17.9.3 firmware. That doesn't necessarily mean that local road auto steer has not been improved with this version. Um, I just didn't see it in that particular instance. Or maybe it's exactly the same. Maybe that's not one of the things that they adjusted. So. Um, yeah, I'll keep posting more videos as they uh, release more firmware updates. Thanks for watching.